there's this concept of, of neuroplasticity. And could you, could you take us through this area? Well, neuroplasticity is just a simple concept that the brain changes. Now, this might not seem like a shocking revelation, but in fact, it was really quite a surprise to researchers who for many years believed the brain was essentially static. We now know that the brain changes its function and its structure, and it's modified by experience, and we can measure these things with brain imaging. And I was able to do a study on this way back in 1992. It was one of the first brain imaging studies of learning. We were interested in what takes place in the brain when, when, when a person learns something, and for the something, we decided to study the computer game Tetris. And back in 1992, when we did this, no one had ever heard of Tetris. No one had a personal computer to play at home. So I got a copy of Tetris, and people came to my office every day and practiced for an hour, and we knew they weren't practicing at home because they couldn't. Uh, I had one of the, the rare personal computers at the time, and the idea was to do a, a, a brain scan before and after people learn Tetris. Now, if you don't know Tetris, this graphic shows you that individual shapes appear at the top of the screen and slowly fall to the bottom. And as they fall, you use the arrow keys to move them right, left, or bring them down. The object is to complete rows with no gaps. Whenever those rows are complete, you get a point for that row. That row disappears and all the shapes above drop down, changing the configuration. You're watching uh, Danny's mom play. Uh, Danny's mom uh, had never played Tetris before, and this is her first game. So you all get the idea. Um, and almost everybody knows Tetris. And here's what the brain images look like. When people were naive, that is before they, they practiced, the first time they played the game, we did a brain image with positron emission tomography or PET scanning showing where radioactive glucose went in the brain while they were playing. And the red colors in this image show where the brain is most active. And you can see very clearly after 50 days of practice, when the game is faster and harder and, and clearly more difficult making decisions, in fact, there's less brain activity. And this was an indication that learning makes the brain efficient. And we have spent many years since uh, we published this in 1992 trying to understand what it is about the brain that really is efficient. Final video I'm going to show you of another person playing Tetris, a world champion. This is not sped up, real time. Remember, the object is to get 40 lines in as little time as possible. It's a real human being. It's not the chimp. So the second challenge is to get Danny's mom to play like this using electrical stimulation or anything else. I would like to see that. <laughs>